Hello, this is Kevin with Bangard Inc. And today I want to just take a few minutes. It looks like uh, version 19 has been released for the Sage Estimating. So this is just going to be a first start of you know how to find it, uh, how to know whether your company is ready for it or not, and so forth. Uh, going to show you how to get it downloaded, and then there'll be uh, you know some subsequent videos after that once I had a chance to get it loaded up myself and go through it. Uh, that we'll kind of take a look at some of the features that 19 brings to the table. It looks like they've got quite a bit of changes to database editor and um, some real nice spreadsheet enhancements and so forth. So. To find the update and find out more about the release now and so forth, if I go up to file in my estimating and help, there's a choice here for Sage support. And this is where I can actually get to my downloads and updates right from within the estimating. This will take me off the website. Now, I do have to be set up as a user on your company's knowledge base and so forth. So if not, you may have to go in and you know, set up account and things of that nature. So in my case, I'm going to say log in so I can get logged into the system. And it'll take me right to the page where I can see all the different estimating versions and so forth. So 19.11 is the one that's just been released. And from the first look, the main couple of things that I see as far as considerations that you really want to keep track of is if you're using e takeoff, it looks like there's going to be a later release for a 2.19 for the bridge to be compatible with it. So if you're an e takeoff user, you may want to hold off until we know that the e takeoff has the current version out that says mid to August and so forth. And then the other thing to kind of watch out for is that for those clients that use the Sage accounting, we do want to make sure that we're on 18.2 or greater, which that is the most current version right now. So my biggest concern is if you have anything pre 18.2, it will have some compatibility issues with the crystal reports. Sage 100, it looks like it's already compatible with and cut and fill and digitizers, you know, those haven't been compatible with this Windows version and won't be. One other thing I just hit about buyout is there is a release coming out shortly for the buyout product. They're saying before the end of the year and so forth. So if you're a buyout user that's been waiting and so forth, you know, make a comment, give me a call, drop me a note, something of that nature that we can talk about what the option for buyout is now and can kind of get you started on maybe get some information for that if you're interested. Okay, with that all being said, basically there's just a download button like they've been in the last few updates. They start off with having you download just like a little download installer. So that's what that little thing ran there in the background. I'm going to say download to my downloads folder. And that's going to go through and download it. So luckily with the world of Google Fiber here, this will only take a matter of a few, you know, minute to so to get it downloaded. So your downloads will definitely vary depending on uh, how fast your internet speed is. And while I'm waiting on that to download, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get out of estimating so that way we can load it up just as soon as it gets downloaded. Okay, so that should. Be about ready to go then. So let's see what we got. Okay, there we go. And you usually want to wait for that screen to get done because uh, usually what they do is they'll download a file. I don't know if you noticed or not, but there was a zip file there that a lot of time they'll have the zip file that they'll uh, download it to and then they'll extract it out. So if you jump the gun before that other screen gets done, it may not have everything fully extracted yet. So set me up, that'll get me started on my estimating install, set my license agreement. Since I've already got a SQL database out there, I've already been using it, I'll never need this for that particular case. If I was doing a brand new install, you know, we probably wouldn't need to talk more about this choice as far as where your database is gonna be loaded, because most of the time this would actually be on a server and things of that nature. So for a workstation, it's never gonna need that choice. In my case, it says I've got another version on my machine currently. And this is kind of handy to make sure to highlight that version, because that way to remove it, and then lay down the new version. Otherwise, you could end up having two different versions on your machine, uh, which could get confusing because that way, once you get your data upgraded to one, it won't really be compatible with the other one. So I usually to recommend to take the previous versions off. And then I want to add an icon for my desktop. So when I get done, I've got an icon to get into this thing. So first off, it's going to go through and uninstall my 18.12.
Okay, it looks like we're into the install now. So it's installing some prerequisites, it looks like, for the C components. Okay, it looks like we're complete. So it looks like it's going to restart my machine. It's a good thing for having virtual machines. So that way I don't have to break off the recording. So we'll be back up shortly here. Okay, it looks like we're back up. There's my new icon. So it's copied some of my uh, information from my other profile over here, or the other version. Okay, so first thing, it needs to know where my license server's at. So you have to go back in and put what your license server is at. And then where's your data server? So in most cases, you're going to need to uncheck this box. Since I've got it installed all on one machine, it's all right in the one machine here. So there's a sequence instance that I'm using. So it'll probably come up here and say that it needs to be upgraded. So this is an example of this was a previous version. So it knows that the, all these different databases that I've got and things of that nature all need to be upgraded. So I'm going to go ahead and let it do it. So the upgrade, as you notice here, goes along pretty fast because that way I've got quite a few different databases on this machine and, and so forth. And it pretty much just goes through each one, one by one. So it should be done here in a second. Estimates will probably be, uh, you know, most of the time your largest, wherever your uh, database name is for where you store your estimates. So, okay, looks like we're complete. So then I could go ahead and uh, view the log if I wanted to and so forth. So it just kind of shows some information of when things were started and, and uh, you know, things of that nature. I'm going to say close since everything was successful. It says I'm set up and ready for a user, so I can go ahead and launch it then, and that'll let me into the new version. So that's basically what the uh, version 19 looks like for the install. Let me get a chance to look it over and, you know, make sure to subscribe to our channel because my next few sessions will be what some of the new benefits are with this product and so forth. So uh, looks like there was quite a bit of things that they've changed to make things a lot nicer in the spreadsheet and just being able to see things and so forth. So stay tuned and let me know in the comments if there's anything else you'd like to see content wise. Thank you.